Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today is Sunday, the 31st of March, 2024, and look at these two new God of War mechas, God of War 86 2. We have normal type, the I guess, doesn't say, and we have the assault type, which is the black one here. They do look pretty good, I have to say. Uh, but I'm not a real fan of the 125 scale so much, and Joy to a mechas like this, there are too many parts that come loose and whatnot. I prefer really like the Acid Rain World ones where they're more stiff and parts can come off, but they're, they're stiff and they're more sturdy. However, these do look quite nice and the pilot for this one looks fantastic. I just wish it was in 118 scale. Anyway, I am digressing. Back of the boxes, all the sides, we're going to see the uh, pilot. Check that pilot out. So cool, that gas mask. Looks very, very cool other side get to see the pilot inside the mecha on both and it says it's fully hand painted movable joints then on the backs get to see again they do look nice i guess what i was saying about the mechas i prefer a mecha that's uh has more toy playability because these ones you move things come off too easily i guess that's the better way of saying it with the acid rain world stuff, you can move it around, move it around, and things that drop off so easily, generally speaking. Okay, I'm going to pause this, unbox them, set them up. I'll be back in the instant. Stay tuned. Here they are. They do look really quite good. There's a, one or two minor issues, and I have to say they are better than I was expecting. Uh, the instructions aren't entirely clear on how to assemble a couple of things so i've got this little part in here wrong but this one's in right so i need to look at that one a bit later uh let's look at accessories so the one on the left the white one which is the normal god of war 86 2 comes with three alternate pair of hands now these hands aren't articulate they're rubbery fingers which i actually prefer on this scale so you get another pair of trigger sort of fingers like this you get your obligatory left and right fist. And you get gripping. Focus. Gripping as well. You also get two tail ends, the fins, the tail of the rockets that are inside the little launchers. If I take one of these out, which is, this is a nice feature that I've actually included that. It says struggling to take it out now. Nah. There we go. Stand up the little pile again. Take it out. Very nice. You can just... Eh? You know what? Now I'm talking nonsense. I know that plugs in. How does that plug in? Because there's no hole there. It's supposed to plug in. Oh! Let me just check the instructions again quickly. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Give me a second. Okay, I am right. <laughs> this part can pull out, which reveals the little hole. And then that will go in the hole. And you've got your rocket with its little tail part. But to actually stow it in the mech, you want this little part here instead. So that can just fit in very nicely, hopefully, in the back. Oops. In the back there and pretty much stay in place. That's pretty cool. And then the uh, pilot come, just comes with an alternate left and right hand. So he comes with fist left and right hands. And then we have pretty much identical on the mech on the right, the assault versions. We've got the fists. We've got the open. And we've got the gripping. And then on the pilot, we've got slightly different he's got a sort of semi fist semi gripping and a trigger on his left so it's almost the opposite Let me just make sure i didn't do that wrong in this one no i did it right okay let's get a close look but before that consider joining the patreon link in the top right of your screen now you can see all the videos before they're published on youtube we also have exclusive content from time to time and we also have prize draws including one coming up in april Okay, close look. Let's look at the pilots first. So, the white one, nice looking figure. They have improved on their 125 scale figures. Looks good. 
decent gun. You can see lots of joint articulation. Nice sculpt, and the coloring is pretty good too. You can actually remove the vest and remove the uh, things on the legs. All that sort of stuff you can move. There's not a move. You can move the head, but it's not a helmet on this one. I've done a helmets before on a small scale, but it looks pretty good. And then probably the highlight is this pilot from the black one, that gas mask. So many of us want this in 118. That just looks very, very cool. Nice gun, bit too long on that stock, so I'm gonna hold it very well. Too big the gun. Good pistol. Nice all-round looking figure. And he's got a little pin on his back. Didn't notice that on the uh white one but the hips feel just a bit loose on him the white one doesn't have that pin it might be hidden in the uh, behind the vest okay we get a close look at the mechs then we'll look at some of the features so let's zoom out a little bit the uh, articulation is gonna be the same on both so mech and features in fact I'll do articulation as well and just just show the features on the uh, the black one Looks pretty cool. So features this little part here you can insert. It does turn around. The hatch does open. The rocket pod does go up and down. And you can twist it left and right. However, it's so loose it wants to drop, which is not that great. Uh, the cockpit does open a little bit from here. You can open from there. This part I have not put in well. Uh, did it well on the other one. Let's try and again. There we go. Then close up. And there is the cockpit. I think it should open more now, but it doesn't want to. Let me just put the light on to get a bit of a look inside. Lots of space for your 125. You will not fit a 118 in there. I doubt even the Star Wars the Vintage Collection smaller one would fit in that. That is very narrow. Uh, that part there, I believe the little light part can turn. Am I telling you a lie? No, I think I'm lying. It's not turning there. Uh, this one can go up and down. On the back, he has got an arm which you can put his gun which he's holding in there and that can articulate to go over the shoulder which you can sort of see there in fact let me zoom out a bit more there we go so in theory I should be able to take this out uh, can I hold that with this I don't know maybe but I wouldn't want to hold it like that anyway but he's got that extra arm to hold things there and that can be used for stowing the gun and holding it behind his back in some way if not that then you've got the pin here which can plug in if I've got a free socket. I've got none free, not even that one up there. Uh, if you have a free socket, you could plug that in. But none of them are three free on him at the moment. Um, oh, things are dropping off. The rockets are popping out. Just put them to the side. He's got articulated pauldrons, which are really nice. So on his arms, they will go all the way around to the side because of the... Uh, attachment and it will pop out easily in fact this was actually this one has popped out when i opened up the box uh lateral raise he's gonna get around about flat he's got a bicep swivel but that'll go from the shoulder as well he's got a double elbow joint so he gets ridiculously tight for a mech look at that that is really quite good reminiscent of the uh, laurel mech with so that double elbow joint um and then he has got that's a stiff joint there Oh, there we go. And then his hand is just on a ball, so it'll get a movement in all directions. Waist, he can turn. He can not really dip, that's from the hips, but he can turn left and right. You see the little plastic bending there and the little uh, pistons moving. Hips will be four splits on the forwards and backwards. Sideways, looks like it could be quite close. Not quite. They're still pretty good. There is a hip turn. He has a double kneecap. Gets very, very tight. On the... I'll just knock that one down. That's a little click, was that? And I'll pop that out joint, that's how. Anyway, sorry. On the feet, there's no boot turn. He does have a good swivel, very squeaky. Good tippy toe, good, good dorsal relaxation. And I can't see any toe articulation. But lots of nice features. Right, I'm going to pop this in and have a quick look at the uh, the black one. Okay, that is done. Let's get his legs a bit straighter, stand him up. He just feels a bit loose, like in his bicep and arm there, but so tight on the other side. And that's so loose there, and that one is not. You know, it's just a bit uneven. <laughs> 
So this guy, he's got another a couple of nice features too. The gun's really quite cool. Let me take it out of his rubbery hands. We'll look at that gun. And what's nice about this gun, this huge gun here, is that this handle here can be for left-handed or right-handed because it's on the ball joint. So it's well thought out on that. Looks pretty good. There's a bit of colouring, but looks pretty nice. And got the sort of indented drilled barrels too. So he has got same articulation. Other features, he's got this little rocket pod here with the rockets inside. These can be, let's close this, this can be taken off. Put on back in. And what's really cool about this is, this now becomes a little handle, which your little mini fig can hold and have a great big rocket launcher. And you've got these little ones inside, not as nice as the ones on the white one, but still very cool. So this little guy here could pose with this on his shoulder with a great big rocket launcher. So that's a nice feature. Anything other that's different? Um, he's got a clip in the back. You could put his gun into that. I'm assuming if there is a peg, I can't see a peg, though he could grip it, I guess, if you pose that right, and that could hang down. Other than that, features the same. Oh, both of them have these little uh, nozzles that turn up and down too. Very, very nice. Okay, the figures. Same articulation. We'll look at the uh, the black one. Though he's got one joint that's stuck. His uh, left hand is, is not going to bend at the elbow. So, left and right, up, down, side to side. That head is so good. How long before someone takes it off and casts it or upscales it to 118? We will see. Shoulders all the way around. Lateral raise, not very far with the pauldron armor on. Uh, bicep bend is 90 degrees, wrist is on a joint, find the joint, you can articulate it and you can turn it. He's got a separate trunk which he can move slightly and he's got a waist which moves well too. His leg just popped off there because I was moving his waist so much. Let's get that back on. Uh, hips. He's getting almost a full splits. It's pretty damn good for a small scale. Just be careful that things don't pop off. Forwards is pretty good. Backwards, not bad. Much That's pretty damn good. Much more than that. He's going to probably go out to the side. So that's really good. There's no thigh twist, but it will pivot from the hip. Am I telling a lie? This looks like there might be. There is a thigh twist. I can see there. Just that it doesn't want to move. A bit stiff. It's got a double kneecap, super tight bend on the legs. And then the feet, there is a tippy toe, tiny dorsiflexation. There should be a swivel side to side, which we've got in the foot. And it looks like he's got a boot turn too, which is fantastic. Such a great looking figure. Okay, let me stand up straight. We'll get an idea of size. Then I'll do a quick comparison. Um, also need to put them in the cockpit. I should say that, um, again, 118 scale figures will not fit in these cockpits. In fact, before I do the size, I'll stick figure in the cockpit. So there's a couple of wings, things we can do. We can just open up the uh, hatch and I can stand in there like thus, which looks pretty damn good. It does give a nice sense of scale when they like that. Actually fitting the cockpit is more difficult because the cockpits don't actually open that far. And um, I can't get to open much further than that, but the space should be sufficient. So a quick pre-pose of him. And then as long as I can get his head to get in and up. That is so tight in his shoulders. I know he fits. Uh, that just needs to go up slightly more. I don't know why it, it's not. And now I'm getting all other sort of things coming off, which I fixed on earlier. This is the part I don't like. Too many parts that come off too easily when you try and do something else. It looks like it's this part here. 
I then this actually goes separate. This unclips. God, there we go. Take that part out and still no difference. Mm. And this part I'm gonna take off because it keeps dropping off. So this is the annoying part now. I was trying to fit someone in the cockpit. Oh, almost there, get in. When you know there's space, but it's just so hard to get them to fit nicely. And that's almost in. He's not, I haven't got them quite right. You see there's a bit of a gap there, you can see him, but you can fit him just that. It's too much of a struggle, I think, with the uh, lack of opening space on the cockpit. So that's what I'm saying. You're not going to get 118 scale in there. I might be missing something on how to open that more, but it appears to be this part. Can you see that part there? This part here and here, that little sort of piston thing gets there and stops. I tried to take that out and instead I just knocked this part out instead, which is a bit of a shame. Because that's supposed to click into there. Like that. So yeah, you can put them in, but it's not the uh, it's not the best. Okay, let's get an idea of size and a quick comparison. Stand up the. Uh... So sorry about that. Just get this guy standing up. And in terms of size, let me zoom in a little bit. So the figures are about just over three inch, so just under eight cm, and these mechs are about the same height. So to the very top, we're looking about nine and three quarter, about twenty five, nine and three quarter inches, about twenty five cm. And if I do a quick comparison with one of the Iron Wrecker mechs, I'll stick it, the Iron Wrecker in the middle, get an idea, which again is one twenty five scale, very different aesthetic. You get to see how they look together. Now, the Iron Wreck has articulated thumb and fingers. I prefer this system here. I think they grip much nicer and better. Both look, both styles look pretty cool. Nice mechs. I'm actually quite glad I've got them. I'm not sure if I'll keep them. I might do a giveaway with one of them or two of them on the Patreon, or maybe I'll sell them. We'll see. But they are pretty damn cool. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. Again, consider joining the Patreon. The link is in the video description below if you didn't see the link in the video earlier. And I'll see you next video soon. Share this if you want. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.